today right now we're gonna go ahead and listen to my man larry eighth one duck i'm high as shit i'm gonna fucking lie to you bro i ain't gonna lie to you where i'm gonna put this at that bitch right there. I'm gonna let that shit burn so I can hot box this motherfucker real quick. You feel me? Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do all of it. Stop fucking playing with me, man. The subscribe button is down below. Go hit it. Um, You're gonna get a lot of entertainment. Uh, I'm funny sometimes. Sometimes I'm not. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best accurate way that I can explain myself. I'm funny sometimes, and sometimes I'm not. It is what it is, man. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, we have a very busy week. Let me roll my sleeves up because we're going to take care of some business first before we get started with Larry's track. Uh, <laughs> tomorrow, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. Tomorrow, we're going live. On my page, time still pending. I have to figure it out with him. But we're going live tomorrow for my man King Dada. King Dada's going through some shit right now. And, you know, we all got platforms here. And, 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 and I want to use mine to, to try to help him out in this time right now. Because there's a lot of shit's going on with, with him. Uh, but... We're going to go live tomorrow, do a dono live for about an hour because he has to go to work. Um, so that whole hour is going to be dedicated. All the donors are going to be sent to uh, King Dada, not to the page, not to the actual my page. I'm going to have King Dada's uh, cash app shit in the bottom. So like that, you guys can cash app it to him, whatever reaction you guys want me to do. But we're gonna do some. We're gonna do a couple reactions. We're gonna we're gonna talk shit. We're gonna. So I, 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 we're gonna do all that. So for about an hour, we're gonna wild the fuck out. Um, that's tomorrow, Thursday. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, my, I smoke too much. <laughs> Thursday, we're going to go live to go do um, the Upchurch album review. I know I said I was going to do each reaction separately. But I want to do the album review because the album just came out. So I want to push it out more. I explain more in detail in the Upchurch reaction that I'm going to do today. But that's what I got going on Thursday. Friday... We got the XG Chronicles. We got the XG uh, 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 documentary docu series live. And I think we I think we're a bit, we're gonna finish it with this one, and it's perfect timing because in a couple of weeks they're dropping their new album, and we're going live to watch the whole album, and then we're gonna break down each song, have each song its individual reaction. That's how I'm gonna do it. I was fucking up. I was doing them separately, and I wasn't giving them the uh, the attention they deserve, or not the attention they deserve, but the, I wasn't giving them the 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 spot that I had to go and give do the live in the beginning, and then trickle it down to doing separate reactions to them, and then um, all that, and a bag of potato chips. I love staying busy because. Is a controllable business. Because all I got to do is sit down and smoke. 
and everything. Anyways, I'm talking too much shit. Uh, Federico, that's that's Larry, by the way, in the background rapping. Go ahead, Larry. <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. <laughs> and I got JT's track coming after this one. Go ahead, say something. Pay attention. Yeah, took a minute, I was preoccupied Trying to build communities and musically monopolized Grew to be a true MC, I'm usually on top of my game That's what the average person choosing me, cause I get down I get down Opposing where the culture vultures colonize at I told them I'm supposed to blow a strife aside Believe it, new representative of the illest in the industry And I never bitch a switch up for dollars, nah Nah, 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 nah We gonna rerun all that shit back Oh, we gonna rerun all that shit, Larry, stop <laughs> Why are you talking to these niggas like it's not not Tuesday? Where's that beat? Why is my heart racing right now, bro? It feels You know what what vibe is giving me? It's giving me G Unit Prime vibes. Like when G Unit not just 50 cent, but when the full whole G Unit was in their prime. Larry, why are you bringing why are you bringing back old school for? <laughs> Who told you you could do that? <laughs> I call that old school because motherfuckers don't rap like that. The the king of fucking flows, Larry Belafonte. That motherfucker's flows are stupid, dude. I'm gonna send this to a cow. I'm gonna send this to Adam. I want because I want Adam to, to 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 do a remix on this. And Larry, throw a verse in. Throw a verse in, Larry. A new one. Throw a new verse in, Larry. <laughs> Go ahead, man. You got a lot of bars inside that big ass head, bro. You can do do another verse, Larry, real quick. You and and eight. I, I can hear Adam in this beat. And that's why I bring Adam, because I can hear Adam in this beat. Because Adam's got that gritty, you know, up north type flow. I play with him, man. But you know how that connected, though? Boom, you see how the flow's connected and the vibe connected? Larry, Adam, 50 Cent, G-Unit. Adam Calhoun, his favorite rapper, 50 Cent. Uh, 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 Larry Belafonte, 50 Cent fan, 100%, has his, his flows, his, his, his beat selections are crazy. It's all 2000, from like 98 to 2002-ish type of, of vibes. And that's when I believe hip-hop was at its best, was in that era. When it was, when it was more focused on the music and the lyrics than it was anything fucking else. When, when it was it was that swag hustle type, you know, because that's where we bred from, bro. We come from that. So for you guys to say, oh, we should leave that behind and and, and start thinking how we how y'all think now, that's being kind of fucking selfish. I, like, nah, that's not that's not what's gonna happen here. We we're, we're gonna we're gonna keep our generation alive through our kids, hopefully. So all kids can come at you in, in the way niggas supposed to come at you. You feel me? My my thought two thousand, not even two thousand, bro. Like you can even go back to like ninety, ninety two, nineties. I'm the ninety, the whole nineties to early two thousands. That era right there was the best. In hip hop, in my opinion, it was just a, it was just different. Music meant something. Music gives you a feeling. Whoever the fuck came up with the saying, "We were from the generation of the hustlers, and this is the generation of the users." was so accurate 
in saying that. Like, it was so accurate that, that how can you look at the way we see the morals that we have, our values, how can you see that and then disrespect it? We have morals. We, we have respect. We have the love for the for the next man next what's going through that same struggle. Our pride is the reason why there's violence within our, within us back in those days. It was our pride. I wasn't gonna back down, neither was you. Our hard-headedness is what why we had violence and shit back in the day. Because of our hard-headedness. You guys are killing each other out here for no fucking reason. All drugged up with a whole bunch of guns in your car. What do you think is going to happen? Stop blaming it on the white man. Stop blaming it on all this shit. Blame it on the actions that you take. And that's what I will say about it. Like, fuck you. I'm hot. I know I am. You know, you know the people that are in the comment section be like, "Yo, oh, when is he gonna play the song? The song is not even being played. It's supposed to be a reaction to a song. Like, what the fuck is going on? Then if you, if what I'm saying, you is making you butt hurt because you wanted them niggas. Am I right or am I right? I right, then then shut the fuck out. It literally takes one finger to do this. Look, watch, watch. It's so how I just, I, I just did that. And I and I, I and I didn't have to hear nothing. You see my face, my face will look like that. That's all you're gonna say is gonna be funny. So either way, even when you fast forward me, I'm funny. So fuck you and your mother. <laughs> Go ahead, Larry, talk to these niggas dirty. Pay attention. Yeah, took a minute, I was preoccupied Trying to build communities and musically monopolized Grew to be a true MC and usually on top of my game That's what the average person choosing me Cause I get down, I get down Opposing with the culture, vultures colonize I told him I'm supposed to blow, it's prophesied Believe it, new representative of the I'm supposed to blow, it's prophesied, motherfucker Look, Jesus came to Larry in his big ass forehead He said, my son, try to raise your head <laughs> It is prophesied that you're going to be the one, son. And then, and then Jesus left with a Walkman. My Jesus has a Walkman, and he has Jordan. So, they, so he just left out, like, I'm going to talk to you later. Peace, deuce. And then he bounced. That's how I saw Jesus. <laughs> nice I told him I'm supposed to blow a prophesied. Right. New representative of the illest in the industry, and I never bitch a switch up for dollars. Nah. No. No. That ain't in my character. I'm low key. Mind my own business. I don't watch how all them folk eat. Time is no different for it. I don't sit here with my stretched out do rag, smoking my good ass Kush. Worrying about what you got in your fucking pockets, my nigga. I don't care. You can have all the money in the world. If you ain't got morals and you have respect, if you if, if I can't go off of your word, then you ain't nothing to me. Point fucking blank, bro. Let's keep it a hundred. Talk to them niggas dirty, Larry. Because they don't understand, son. They don't understand. And the good, you know what the good part about it is? There's a lot of the, these kids in this generation right now that because of their parents' smartness of, of raising their child, the, the there's no really right right way to raise a kid, but you did the best that you can. You could tell by your child's actions. I've seen a lot more Gen Z that think and act like if they were raised with us and that has to be because of influences obviously because who they listen to who they watch and it also has to come from the home too but if you got parents that, that 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 if you have if you believe the beliefs that your parents believe in and the morals that your parents believe in and the people that you watch on a daily basis on your phone that is is, is proven that Kids right now spend more time looking at a fucking phone than having an actual conversation with somebody. But at least I'll, I've been seeing a lot 
that actually believe in what we believe in in, in the morals and everything like that musically politically whatever but they have common sense they're smart and i've been seeing a lot of them come out and and that's a dope dope fucking thing especially for hip hop because once you once you start having these kids think outside the box and and and, and understand what rap is and, and understand how, lyrically how they do it once the kids start getting common sense and paying attention to the music part of it is going to change the music shit drastically because now you change the way that child thinks so they're not going to be listening to the same shit that they're usually listening to they're going to be listening to positive you know real life real man talk lyrical type shit because that's just not going to intrigue them anymore yeah it may sound good to them but it's not intriguing them musically and, and and I believe a lot of, of the world, we all have a piece of, of that hunger for music, for art. And, and and when you come out, boom, now you're going to be shifting to a better approach to hip-hop and rap and all this other stuff. Where you don't have to have girls shaking their asses and fucking talking about drugs and, and, and talking about money and, and houses and cars and doing drugs and all this other shit. You get it over here. Because there's one thing that my generation taught us, or they taught all of us, is how to survive in a world that doesn't give a fuck of your feelings. And that's a fact. We were raised to, 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 to be so thick-skinned and so emotionless when it comes to petty shit that we're looked at as the weird ones now. Which doesn't make no fucking sense. There's a bunch of kids out there that, that if, if they keep on going the route that they're going, and they end up going and living by themselves and doing it, and, and they're adults now, they I feel sorry for them. They're not even they ain't gonna know how to survive at all. And I, by survive, I don't mean. Yeah, yeah, I'm moving out, mom and dad, but you're paying the mortgage and or the rent and you're paying most of the bills because I'm still going to school and working a part-time job. But I don't want to live in your house. I want to live somewhere else, but you guys are going to pay for it. I'm not talking about those. Because anybody having that, they can make it. <laughs> that is no fucking problem. Give me a part-time job. Mom and dad pay all my fucking bills and let me work a part-time job. I'll be straight. No complaining for me ever. I won't even have an opinion on anything. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I'm just happy to be here, guys. I'm just happy to be alive. That's all. That's all. I'm good. I just get a part-time job for some pocket change, some walking around money. Because my bills are taken care of? Oh, oh, we good. But are you prepared to say, yo, am I going to eat or am I going to have electric this week? If you haven't been in that and know how to get out of it, man, the pawn shop industry has raised drastically ever since poverty hit. Move money around, son. Because if you keep on moving money around, you can't, you can't ever be, you know, broke. You always gonna have money somewhere. You got to learn how to hustle, baby. You got to learn how to put your money into some shit. Hey, let's figure this out. So you telling me you over here selling these oranges on the side of the road. He's selling them for $5 a bag of orange, right? So if you're selling them for $5 a bag, oh, you think they're going to have time to count how many oranges is in that bag? Why don't we, all the bags you got filled up to the top, why don't we cut those bitches in half? Put that in another bag, tie that shit up, boom. Now you got more bags and make more profit. Sell it for more. If it's five dollars a bag, sell it for sell, sell it for ten. Ten dollars a bag. But are these are great oranges, bro? You ever heard of vitamin D? You know what happens when you don't have vitamin D in your system? Oh, because you're uneducated and stupid. Memory loss, fatigueness. Cloudiness, 
brain fog, which is the same thing as cloudiness. So you're wondering, oh, why can't I keep my mind focused? Why can't I do this? Eat an orange. So you're trying to tell me that you want to be cloudy all day. <laughs> you want to be cloudy all fucking day. When, if I could tell you, hey, I have the cure for cancer, only going to cost you $10. Oh, you're going to pay the $10 and not ask no questions? Just take it? Or what are you going to do? All right, then. Then no question it. Give me $10 and here's your bag. All right, then. Have a great day. Don't fuck with me as a salesperson, but my, my rebuttal game is crazy. <laughs> Illness in the industry, and I never bitch a switch up for dollars. Nah, nope. Nope. that ain't in my character. I'm low key. Mind my own business. I don't watch how all them folk eat. Time is no different for anyone, so I don't need the blabber. Uh, all the fake laughter, bro. Your phone need. Go on, please. Get out my I don't need the. I like the. Oh, that was hard. hard. Go ahead. Do it again, Larry. Low key, mind my own business. I don't watch how all them folk eat. Time is no different for anyone, so I don't need the blabber. Uh, all the fake laughter, bruh. Your phone need go. The blabber, uh, the fake laughter, bruh. Your phone need. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No different for anyone, so I don't need the blabber. Uh, all the fake laughter, bruh. Your phone need go. Hey. Please get out my face. This not the place, sir. Why you think I'm smoking this J? It's like my eighth one, duh. Eighth one. Like I am great, huh? I stay puff. And I bake butt, poke my belly, I'ma break stuff. The a heart. Larry, you man dumb, dog. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Hold on, dog. Do it again. It's just not the place, sir. Uh. Why you think I'm smoking this J? This like my eighth one, duh. Eighth one? Like I am great, huh? I stay puff and I bake butt. Poke my belly, I'm a break stuff. The man. A harsh fellow. Yeah. Going with the flow, that mean I hit the marshmallow. Mellow. My show gon' hit the road and represent for all ghetto. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Sir, why you think I'm smoking this J? This like my eighth one, duh. Eighth one? Like I am great, huh? I stay puff and I bake butt. Poke my belly, I'm a break stuff. The man. A harsh fellow. Yeah. Going with the flow, that mean I hit the marshmallow. Mellow. That was a whole stay puff marshmallow scheme, bruh. With the belly? Hoo-hoo! All that bullshit? Damn. Break stuff, the man. a harsh fellow yeah. going with the flow. That mean I hit the marshmallow. Mellow. My show gon' hit the road and represent for all ghetto. Yeah. I would not settle for no poppycock techno. Hey, I own this shit I'm on. Promise I would not let go. No homo, my grip is strong like I'm pumping iron. Praying I don't have to pop. I won't let go. No homo, my grip is strong. That's crazy. All <laughs> right. Why does Larry do this shit like why does he do this shit flawlessly? That'll be a question that I can ask Larry. Why do you like do like why do you show off when you rap? We all know you dope. They like you don't even have to even we know you dope. But you making it really hard for niggas out here, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you can say whatever you want. I believe a good rapper, or not a fuck rapper, a good MC can't only just be lyrical. A good MC, let's not even say use good, a great MC. It's not only lyrical. You have to put every aspect of when you make a song in rap. And if you check every box on that, guarantee. Guarantee. You're going to be put up there as one of the greatest that does it. You just got to check all the boxes. To me, Larry checks all the boxes, but one. And he's already doing it, so I can't even say that, so he checked that box. And I'm going to say 
bar up more, but he he's already barred up. In the last couple of ones that I've listened to, he barred up. So I he checked all the boxes. Now, since now that's a complete MC, right? Now all that it is is the right nigga needs to listen. It only takes one right motherfucker to listen to your music. And the way Larry's been working, it's gonna it, it, it's bound to happen. It's bound to happen. Not even, let's say, because you guys think success means, you guys think success means Larry's going to be in front of the camera and rap in front of all these millions and millions of people. Success means Larry could do this. Reese could quit her job. Larry could quit his job. The kids are going to be fine. He doesn't have to worry about money. He doesn't have to worry about affording anything. He doesn't have to struggle anymore. He could get all the greatest weed in the world. He could open up his own own f- plantation of marijuana if he wants to. That's you, you. That's making it. That's living comfortable, and and and, and you don't have to be in the spotlight to do that. If Larry doesn't want to sign a deal with nobody, it's because Larry knows that with what he knows to do with this rap shit, he could make money off of it. Point blank. Larry could do anything from producing to rapping. He could do anything in the industry and and live that life and not have to be in the spotlight. Because for every person that you see out there in the camera showing their ass, there's people behind them that are making more money than him. Because if he's making millions, they're making buco millions. Going to make his check look like chump change. So, when an artist understands what he has is going to is going to help him succeed and, and, and make a check in every form of rap, Larry produces, Larry raps, Larry writes his own shit. Larry, Larry got that gobble with Hercules. Niggas don't think he does. He sounds good. His imagination is out of this fucking world. He has morals. He has standards. He has respect. That's all you need, bro. That's all. And, there, and there's not a lot of people out there that they're, they're, they're so locked into that one little box oh i have to make it over here i gotta be the next this nigga i gotta be the next this no man learn as much as you can be a student of the game if you ever say that i am i am the teacher then that means that you that that, that you think that you know everything that has to do with that subject that's a teacher but everybody even no matter what stage they're in and their success they're always going to be students this music should change every single fucking day there's always something different that you hear when it comes to the actual making of the music, sounding of the music, rapping on it, singing on it, whatever. But if you if you come back, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna I'm getting into a rant again, and I don't want to. Well, I was already I was dead mid- in the middle of it. But you guys know what I'm saying, though, right? It, it's just you be real to yourself. Be real. Be realistic with your goals. Don't. Rome was a bro- built in a day, brother. Like you have to take it in. You have to keep on taking step by step, learning something new. All right, this month I'm going to focus more on the production side of things. This month I'm going to I'm going to focus and I'm going to start talking and I'm going to start uh, networking with people that have to do with promotion uh, and little tricks of the trades that I can learn that I could start promoting my shit and then I could come over here and start going, you know, hanging out and talking to a lot of lyricists. Yo. Start bouncing ideas off each other, getting that shit together, boom, getting that. Now you're thinking about, and they, they, it, there's always so much thing that you can learn in this in this business in this industry, that but everybody is shooting for the same goal. Don't shoot for that. There's a lot of independent artists right now that are in the come up that don't have the following that I think they should have, that are in the list of the right nigga just needs to hear them. A lot of them. Larry, Aries, K Legend, Clip. The list goes on and on and on. I I, I can keep on going. Spectrum. I can keep on going.
Who else? Samson? Ren? Church? All these people, yeah, they got more followers than you. They're independent. They work their asses off to get to that point. They could do it. We all could fucking do it. Point blank. Because they, they have a talent. But they also had that hunger. And everyone out here has that same hunger in them. You just got to unleash it. Unleash that hunger and eat. Work, 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 work. She wasn't playing when she sang it. Whack, 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 whack. I told you, Rihanna's the shit. <laughs> Promise I will not let go. No homo, my grip is strong like I'm pumping iron, praying I don't have to pop metal. Amen. Amen. I swear I will never be po again, but I know I'm not special, so I'm playing for a win. A win. Wait, I'm not done. I got more to talk, junk, and y'all pump it loud underground. Run them down. We up and now and then. I got a vent. I done spent a lot of years trying to get a shot and still got a little amount of chips. Man, ain't this about a bitch? These real niggas kind of fit. Kind of get me hot for real. I can't get rich without it. Deal, I should chill. chill, but sorry, ain't no stutter in my stride. We was only taught to hustle in the gutter. I survived. I ain't Both them niggas dirty. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I spent a lot of years trying to get a shot and still got a little amount of chips. Man, ain't this about a bitch? These real niggas kind of fit. Kind of get me hot for real. I can't get rich without a deal. I should chill. chill. But sorry, ain't no stutter in my stride. We was only taught to hustle in the gutter. I survived. I ain't never sell a drug or wet and thugging on the side. But my cousin who was busting. If you touch him, you can die. No lying, no cap. I'm not just sliding on raps. Be a hundred on my crown. Put my... I'm sorry, bro. Like I'm telling you, bro. You can get stuck in this nigga's flow, bro. You get stuck in this man's flow. Larry, you gonna make me run, run that shit all the way back. It's about a bitch. These real niggas kind of fit. Kind of get me hot for real. I can't get rich without a deal. I should chill. chill. But sorry, ain't no stutter in my stride. We was only taught to hustle in the gutter. I survived. I ain't never sell a drug or wet and thugging on the side. But my cousin who was busting. If you touch him, you can die. No right. lying, no cap. I'm not just sliding on raps. Be a hundred on my grind. Put my life in those tracks. You don't like me so. I ain't used to like me, bro. Facts for my light to glow. I just had to fight my own past. I'm all right with no. Nigga, talk, preach, my brother. Talk to them, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Go. I like that. I like that one's clean. Hold on. Not just sliding on raps, be a hundred on my grind, put my life in those tracks. You don't like me, so I ain't used to like me, bro. Facts for my light to glow. I just had to fight my own past. I'm Woo! a regular cold. Hard is just my light to glow. I had to fight my own past. That's crazy. I like the way he just flowed that real quick. Syllabatic, acrobatic. Stop playing with him. Me bro, facts for my light to glow. I just had to fight my own past. I'm all right with cold. Heart is just some ice that froze fast. I would like to know if love is just a night that rolls past or it's right and wrong. Lifelong, twice strong, fighting, hold tight and don't slight and be inviting no trash. Fact, Jesus is glue in case you need any clues. If you weep in the blue, then the reason is you. You Your lack of the. Hallelujahs. I like that Jesus bar. Twice strong, fighting, hold tight, and don't slight and be inviting no trash. Fact, Jesus is glue in case you need any clues. If you weep in the blue, then the reason is you. Your right. lack of the faith got you sad and disgrace. Opportunity. Your lack of your faith got you sad and disgrace. Oh, oh. I've been said that. I've been said it. I've been said it, Larry. I've been trying to tell them niggas they don't want to listen to me. Maybe they listen to you. I don't know. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Uh, I don't. Jesus is the answer. Jesus, country, everything else. God is always first. Not saying that God is Jesus. Whatever. You know what I mean. Jesus and God are two different things. Jesus is a man. God is our father. Lack of faith, lack of parents, mainly dads, in our in our communities. Our communities have lack of fathers at home, lack of faith, not really lack of faith. The black community, we, we are the highest population of Christians. 
but not in the inner city streets. That's where there's there's lack of. I'm talking about the hood. I'm talking about the streets. I'm talking about gangsters, thugs, or whatever you want to call it. There, there's nowhere they 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 humiliate their religion by the way that they represent God. Let's just put it like that. It's not in a in a Christian way. It's not in a in a in a uh, 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 the the right way. You can't act the way you act and do the things that you do in the streets and then say that you love the Lord. That that's doesn't that doesn't match up. To actually have true faith is putting God before anything else. Trying your best to walk by the word of the Lord. No one's perfect in this world. People mess up. People make mistakes. It is what it is. But God will forgive you. When I when I refound God, when I got sober, that tremendously helped me get through it. I had nothing else. I was literally rock bottom. And, and I kneeled and I and I just told God, all right, man, let's try it your way. And I stuck to that for 10 years. And every day I could learn, every day my faith goes stronger. Every day there's the, the, the stories and people that are brought into me through this whole YouTube thing that it, it's always, a, a, it always feels like a, a this was a blessing of God, or this was a sign of God, or this is God talking to me through you guys. So, 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 believe what you want. That's the beautiful part about you being a human being. You have free will. You can believe what you want. But believing in something and acting on your beliefs is a, is a whole different thing. A whole different thing. Everything that you do needs to better the next person. Your neighbor, your family, but whoever, it needs to better that person. You need to grow a community where, where, where we could be open with each other and we could and we could and we could communicate without it being violence or, or anything like that. We appropriate the hood. We give it too much glamour and too much shine. And temptation is built into it. You can't see the things that you see in this industry and, and, and not put temptation right in that same category. Because it's going to be there. And we are human and we do make mistakes. But it's about having the strength to ignore all that and try to walk a better path. We need to do better as a community. We want to bitch and complain the white man this and, and the government this and the police this. and We want to bitch and complain about all of this. But we're not taking any steps to better our community. Fuck YouTube and everything else. Your community. What are you doing in your community that you could better it? And that's 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 all I'm saying. I Man, and people's like, oh, you don't know about this. And you can come with every excuse and you can call them, this is the reason why this happened and this is the reason why this happened. All right, but what, what, what are you doing about it besides talking about it? Forget about the talking about it. What are you doing actively about it to help that other person? That's it. I love you. I want you to be better. I want you to... To, to, to thrive. I want you to grow. You know what, what, what makes me really, 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 really happy? When I hear that somebody that I know 
one of my one of my my friends, one of my my peers, one of my family members, no matter when I hear that they are that they are winning. I got a promotion. I I, I got straight A's. I I I I got the job. Whatever it is. Yes, let's go. Let's go. I'm excited for you. Like, why not? You have to be happy of another person's win. You know it takes more energy to be a hater? That's a fact. Because haters have to repeat themselves over and over and over and over and over and over again. No matter how you, what topic you come at them with, they'll flip it back to what they want, and it, it, it it's always going to be the same fucking thing. You know what's the difference? I have to say what I say once, and that's it. If I believe I made a a, a good argument, I'm done. I don't have to talk to you no more. And I'm talking about like in debates, in like when you when you're debating somebody, when you're in the comment section or whatever. Live and let live. Keep it walking. Better yourself. Get that help. Get that help. You know what I love about this generation? They brought awareness to mental health. This generation, I believe, brought more awareness to mental health. Than any other generation. And. I believe that's very important. For the growth of our country. The growth of our kids. The growth of our community. Without having that faith. Without having God in your heart. Nothing is possible. Nothing is possible. Because eventually you think it's possible. Because you made it. But eventually you're going to have a decline on that possibility. And it's going to blow up in your fucking face. And at the end of the day, you're going to be worse for it. So you may think you're winning. You're, ta- you're, you're taking a win as it comes to you. I want my overall win. That's what I'm working for is my overall win. When it's all said and done and my last breath is taken on this earth. That's the win I want. Fuck what you heard. It's what you're about. And the reason is you. you. Your yeah. lack of the faith got you sad and disgrace. Opportunities you passed up is laughing in your face. And it seems when you lose, you get madder if you fake. So I'm glad to get my plate so I can bring my children food. Give a Ooh. damn what you say. I'm glad to take a plate to give my children food. Oh, a plate of food. That's double right there. I have my nigga. <laughs> Woo! Kids are eating hard, Larry. Kids are eating hard, Larry. Go ahead. Matter if you fake, so I'm glad to get my plate so I can bring my chair and food. Give a damn what you say about me eating when I do. Cause you never paid a bill or gave me jack to get a place. Thank you, bitch. Let's go. What the fuck you talking about? Larry, why you did that like that? Why you did that like that, Larry? Don't talk to them like that. It's Tuesday, bro. <laughs> I love it, man. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. I got JT's new track out uh, with Lone Tone, I think it is. Lone Tone. I got that one coming next. I love you guys. I'm going to talk to you guys in a minute. If you haven't yet, please go follow Larry Belafonte. His name, the link, everything's down below in the description. Show my brother some love, man. He's got a lot more good music, great catalog. This is my brother, for real, for real. Love you, bro. I'm going to talk to you. Reese! If when I when I come over, if I ever come over to you guys' crib, I better have pizza rolls in that freezer, girl. The forty count pepperoni. I love you guys. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Peace. I got a bad feeling about this. They say Larry is a vibe, like my nigga Ray. Ray, I be cool and I get high. I roll bigger J.